got to be 13. There was a break. I had too much fun one year and wasn't asked back for about five years. But I did my first one in 87, 88. It has to be a dozen or 13. Yeah, this might be my 14th. Yeah, who knows? No, those, we, we were making that stuff up as we went along back then because uh, Star Maker, <laughs> you'll love this, uh, the prize for Star Maker was uh, a recording session with uh, BMG, of which the artist had to pay half to prove they were committed. <laughs> I said, hang on a second, that's not a prize. <laughs> so what, what the artists get nowadays, I love the use of a car, proper promotion. Um, but no, the muster, two things happened at the start of my career that just gave me the advantage of doom. Uh, I got to tour with the Deltones for uh, two years nationally as a solo support act, and then with Doug Trevor was playing guitar with me for a long time. But that came out of the fact that Ray Martin picked me up as a curiosity object because uh, Tamworth was really just finding its feet again and, and uh, I had two years of, of five years of national midday exposure and there would be no career without that. He's still a very dear friend but uh, a lot of it came from the fact that he knew I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> and he found that fairly charming. <laughs> No, <laughs> nothing's changed at all. I'll look back at it just, and it's just all joy. There, you know, there's obviously been some difficult periods of time, but overall I've been allowed to do something I love and uh, hopefully enrich people's lives for 35 years. And uh, you're fortunate enough to know my father and one of the things I loved about his life was he was a very joyous person and that's, uh, it's a great way to live. So, yes, there have been a lot of hangovers and a bit of heartache, and but by and large, I wouldn't swap it for the world. Well, that's what makes good country. <laughs> pretty much living the song. <laughs> well, Tim, um, uh, music, um, I know the man like a brother. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's probably good he remains nameless in this interview. <laughs> we share a couple of, of passions and, uh, and uh, natural products. And there was a combination of a fireball whiskey and uh, one of the precursors, precursors of, a, of a cannabinoid oil that had been brought back from uh, different parts of the planet. And, and uh, it just that made my day. It was fantastic. And well, it was a very wet year and we played in the Australian Heritage Music Tent and I unheritaged it fairly quickly, thinking I'd actually morphed into Jim Morrison. And uh, it was a wild, exciting time. That was on the Friday night. And we played again on the Sunday night at the Crow Bar and there was a bit of a chill in the audience. We, <laughs> we actually had a full house, so they're wondering, I think people just turned up to see if it was all going to happen again. <laughs> and I said, so those of you who are there Friday night, I do apologise, that was a little... Uh, over enthusiastic. Tonight's concert will be professional and most importantly in English. So <laughs> that was it, didn't get asked back for five years. I don't know if it was the apology or the Friday night. <laughs> no, I even wrote a letter. It's the only apology letter I've written. Actually, no, that's not right. I wrote one to my first wife's mother, apologising again. <laughs> so, so I was saying to uh, Matt before is that by doing that, you just hope one or two people feel a little less lonely because there's sometimes you're there going, am I the only person going through this now? Just no, you're not. There's all of us trying to figure out how it works. <laughs> Base most of the things that I believe to be true upon what I tell my children, I've got four of them, varying in ages and I've got one girl, so that's another whole paradigm. But uh, what I do tell them, it's, uh, it, the truth will definitely get you into trouble, but it is the only thing that will get you out. Because if you tell the truth, you're not going to be everybody's favourite, but at least they know that's what you that's what you stand for. So, being open is I I, I, don't, I can't do deceit. I've tried it and I have instant karma. The roof caves in or something horrible happens straight away. <laughs> I love, uh, I, lo I love playing with Brian, my oldest son. You've been fortunate enough to see a lot of that. And you, what you've seen, which a lot of people haven't, is watching him develop as a musician. Because you've known him since he was a kid. But Johnny Taylor, I, I, I think, is one of Australia's finest musicians. So the three of us have done a lot of work together. So tonight's performance, 
on the Saturday night is the three of us, and then tomorrow night is the full band with uh, a wonderful drummer called Sveten Barrick, <coughs> Barrick and uh, uh, Vaughan Jones on keys and, and Johnny and Briar and I. It's, it's, it's just a labour of love. We just all love doing it and we all enjoy each other's company and you just we get on stage, rip up the rule book and let music rule, you know. I just love the fact from my first visit it's been a party in a paddock and that's sort of pretty much how I grew up, you know, just either at a rodeo or a camp draft or just going to someone's place, you'd wind up with a hundred cars and, you know, eskies and this is such a big event now, but the first one I came to, I remember thinking it would be a standard country festival, you know, six, seven hundred people. Came over the hill and I think that year there were 15,000 people in front of the main stage. I don't think I'd ever seen that many people in one place in my life, so. It's just a big open, people behave well here. People definitely get drunk, but there's no, no cynicism, there's no edge to it. You're not gonna wind up with a stabbing in the front row, you know, it's, I love that. I'm going to play one that I think is very relevant to what we've just been speaking about, and it's one of the new ones. And uh, no, the, it, it, it is important. I love the Australian ethos, and I think that we're an irreverent group, and we are very anti-authoritarian. But when it's important, we are incredibly disciplined. That's how we did so well in the first and second world wars, and blah blah blah, and all the things that we deal with: drought, flood, fire, community strength. Is, but we run a bit hot. That's I think the Australian psyche is that, and. Uh, this came out of a, a co-write with an American friend whose name funnily is Robert Zimmerman, which is Bob Dylan's real name. And I'm, I'm co-writing with Robert Zimmerman. Some, <laughs> anyway, he's a great guy and we're happy with this, yeah. He takes a sip of something strong Night falls, he calls old friends just to get along Most times he finds a stranger in the mirror Subtle clues, self-abuse, the mess is getting clearer Sideways most days, trying to figure which way's up No doubt he's out of step and out of touch Folks say he'll pay for living out of line a little more than less ordinary But doing fine living sideways Grey dawn, a strange room, a face you can't recall Lost shoes, same blues, she's seen it all before Most days she'll face a stranger in the mirror Subtle clues, self-abuse, the mess is getting clearer Sideways most days, trying to figure which way's up No doubt she's out of step and out of touch Folks say she'll pay for living out of line A little more than less ordinary, but doing fine Folks say they're living rough, way too close to dangerous The mirror smiles and works on trust but gold lies where the water's deep And lovers never run from heat They recognize the devil in themselves Sideways most days Trying to figure which way's up No doubt they're out of step And out of time Folks say they'll pay for living out of line A little more than less ordinary But doing fine living sideways Sideways Living sideways So that's for every hangover. <laughs>
Nat, so Jed is my Jack Russell. He's a beautiful dog. He's a 14 kilo Jack Russell. So we're pretty sure Wolfhound got in there somewhere. And his wife, Sonny, is a smaller version and she's tougher than him. So it's, the whole thing is great, but I've had working dogs all my life. And uh, I saw a dog painted on a wall at a cafe in, in um, Laurel Canyon, Los Angeles. Asked the owner who I knew how it got there because it was a picture of a Kelpie. And he pointed at the artist who told me that when Jim Morrison died in Paris, this dog just started coming down from where he and Pam Corson used to live just above this cafe. So it, hairs on the back of my neck went up. I said, that's a song. Uh, I've, I've been a Doors fan since I was five because they started to get played on ABC radio and we, there was no demographic back then. You So you get Slim Dusty, Pub With No Beer, uh, Joni Mitchell, like both sides now, uh, The Seekers, Lemon Tree and Jim Morrison, you know, Light My Fire or uh, Break On Through. You know, it was just a wonderful period of time for music. So that's the background here. Mountain Market, Laurel Canyon, LA. A quiet beer, a beautiful day. Homesick came when I saw a familiar face painted on a wall. Now I've had dogs. Since I could walk Always wished They could talk This one had A tale to tell Stung my eyes Closed my throat And drew my chest in tight Morrison's dog Throws back to a brilliant litter Words were stronger, thoughts were clearer Rights were determined by wrong Getting nowhere to go It's just nostalgia, but it sure hits you West coast sun in a rearview mirror Venice summer rising out of the fog Calling Morrison's dog A world away a poet passed in Paris The ancient ones recalled their wayward son A dog appeared And locals have it When Jim shifted from his famous form James came home Morrison's dog throws back to a brilliant litter Words were stronger, thoughts were clearer Rights were determined by wrong Getting nowhere to go It's just nostalgia, but it sure hits you West coast sun in a rear view mirror Venice summer rising out of the fog Calling Morrison dog throws back to a brilliant litter words were stronger thoughts were clearer rights were determined by wrong getting nowhere to go it's just nostalgia but it sure hits you west coast sun in a rearview mirror venice summer rising out of the fog calling morrison